Our early field testing took us to the north of England, where the thick, heavy grass was perfect for high-quality dairy forage. Accompanying one of the first prototypes, codenamed X8, was Peter Lauer from the factory team. So, Richard, for you, being on home ground, first time you see the X8 working in grass conditions, what yeah, do you think? It's great. I mean, I, I saw it last year working in, in maize in Germany, but uh, haven't really seen it in grass at all. Yeah, first impressions, the machine's working, working very well and coping very well with the conditions. So what, what chopping lengths would they normally be on with those machines at the moment? I would say they're probably normally around about sort of 20, 24, 25 millimeters for almost maximum length of cut um, uh, for this for these type of customers. There's a, a trend has been to go to go longer. That's quite a straight crop flow, isn't it? Yeah, pretty pretty impressive, pretty tight crop flow. It's almost as if it's blowing maize. You wouldn't normally see it as good as that in grass. We've got the Kemper guys here in the field um, this week with us as well to really prove that it can handle the wetter, heavier, heavier grass that we see uh, in this part of the world um, and just make sure yeah, to, that we test in all conditions uh, that the customers are, are likely to see. My name is Christoph Schmerning. I've been working for Kemper for six years and I'm in charge of the team developing pickup heads. Our main reason for testing here was to find out if we can cope with these tough and very wet English grass conditions. We wanted to see if the crop would flow through the machine as we intended it to. And I must say, yes, we can. It works. Also, we wanted to find out if we could use this machine to its full potential. And this has worked out perfectly too. The contractor Anthony Dale had switched to John Deere a couple of years back because of the better performance in grass. Everybody's building big machines for maize and not everybody can really utilise it in grass. Where we were yesterday was in Big Heavy First Cut and um, I think the performance in the feed rollers is uh, very good. I think with uh, more alterations with the header and everything uh, I think we'll be able to use the horsepower in grass. The test team were also pleased with the machine's performance. Oh, it's just fast. Yes, this is just perfect. We are very happy. We have known this contractor for a while now and he is fantastic. We were very happy to have such a great contractor and the drivers are excellent too. The whole team is just ideal. Seriously, we've been able to test many, many things here and gather valuable experience and we're still not done. There is quite some work left to carry out and we have still some homework to do, but we are on track, absolutely. Having seen the machine in various conditions now, in different fields, different sizes of the windrows, different field conditions, going up the hill, going down the hill, what's your summary of that? Um, we've seen some different grass conditions, very heavy, wet grass conditions yesterday, and then today in here, uh, pretty lighter conditions, and it's coped with both uh, admirably well. Um, I know Anthony, the contractor, has been using it for a few hours last night in the dark, and he commented on the lighting pattern, um, and just how well, how well the machine he could drive it, um, so that's another positive we can take away. Our next test had a very different set of challenges. Chopping very short lengths in whole crop for a biogas customer in the north of Germany. 